Good day everyone. I'm Adriana Gerald Fernandez Mangas and today we are going to discuss our correlational research entitled Math Applications and Students' Academic Performance in Basic Calculus. Now, let me introduce my fellow researchers, Juliana Cassandra Mendoza and Micaela Joyce Natividad. Let's start with our research lab. Some students use various math applications to quickly and efficiently solve their mathematical issues with little effort and time investment. Aside from using different math applications without knowing how the answer will be obtained, a student may have no knowledge. According to social cognitive theory, Bandura 1971, the concept of learning from personal experience is said to help people understand how their actions affect the present and the future. Allowing people to use the information as an incentive to engage in dishonest behavior. Additionally, it makes it clear that students' use of math apps result from their lack of fundamental comprehension and their willingness to act dishonestly in reaction to issues with their academic performance. In order to find out how math applications might significantly impact students' academic progress, the researchers decided to conduct a study to determine if using math applications would really improve or enhance the academic performance of the students. After the research job, let's have Juliana Cassandra Mendoza discuss the purpose of the study. The purpose of this study was to determine the user's opinions and views and to gather information on utilizing math applications, as well as to know if math applications would really enhance or improve the academic performance of students in the subject of basic calculus. According to Table 1, 37.8% of respondents use Photomath, while 35.6% rank Desmos as their second favorite app. Mathway, which received 24.4% of respondents, came in third. Gotmath, the least popular app, is only used by 2.2% of respondents and GeoGebra Classic has no responses. Thus, it can be seen that GeoGebra Classic is not helpful or that the users are unfamiliar with the program and Photomath is the most helpful and simple math application for learning basic calculus. According to Table 2, the majority of respondents, 46.7%, use math programs within an hour. Over the course of the two hours, 35.6% of respondents use the math application. 11.1% of those surveyed selected the 3 hours. Additionally, the 4 hours were selected by 2 students at a rate of 4.4%. And lastly, 1 student used the math application for 5 hours at a rate of 2.2%. The majority of findings show that math applications are used within an hour. So according to Table 3, 55.6% of respondents receive a basic calculus grade between 90 to 100, whereas 35.6% receive a higher grade between 85 to 89. Only 2.2% receive scores below 79 while the remaining 6.7% received outstanding ratings between 80 to 84. So according to the table, the majority of respondents achieve higher score when utilizing math programs. Additionally, this indicates that by using an online calculator app, users have the best chance of achieving their desired rate improvement in basic calculus. In the statement of problem number four, is there a significant relationship between math applications and the academic performance of STEM students? The researcher used a table containing the final basic calculus grade of 45 respondents and the number of hours spent on math applications. In the first column, we have the student number, and in the second column, we have the R to represent the X of the study. And in the third column, we have the final grade of the students in basic calculus to represent as a Y variable. To obtain the answer to the summation of the x variable, you have to get the sum of all the x values of hours spent by students in math applications, as well as the same as the summation of the y variable, columns 3, 4, and 5. Through the use of Pearson R correlation with sample size of 45 by calculating the R score using the data from the survey gathered, researchers got a result of negative 0.241 
and the p-value was calculated using a significance level of 0.05 for a two-tailed test. Researchers obtained a result of 0.1108 using the survey data. Since the p-value is greater than the significance level, the null hypothesis is accepted. Therefore, there is no significant relationship between the hours spent using math applications and students' academic performance in basic calculus. After this, we have Micaela Joyce Natividad to discuss the conclusion. As a result, 56.6% of respondents obtained a basic calculus grade between 90 to 100, and 35.6% achieved a higher mark between 85 to 89. Only 2.2% of students obtained grades below 79, while the rest, 6.7% received excellent marks between 80 to 84. So, the graph shows that most respondents score better when using math applications. The majority of respondents indicated that they commonly use MathWay, PhotoMath, Desmos, and GoatMath. So aside from that, the majority of respondents, 46.7% use math programs within an hour. Over the course of the two hours, 35.6% of respondents use the math applications. 11.1% of those surveyed selected the three hours. Additionally, the four hours were selected by two students at the rate of 4.4%. And lastly, one student used the math application for 5 hours at the rate of 2.2%. Through person R correlation with a sample size of 45, by calculating the R score using the data from survey gather, researchers got the result of negative 0.241. The p-value was calculated using a significance level of 0.05 for a two-tailed test. Researchers obtained a result of 0.1108 using the survey data. Since the p-value is greater than the significance level, the null hypothesis is accepted. Therefore, there is no significant relationship between the, between the hours spend using math application and students' academic performance in basic calculus. Now let us proceed to Juliana Mendoza to discuss the recommendation. Although learning basic calculus through the use of any math application during this time of pandemic is very helpful and highly recommended, the best way to learn mathematics lessons is still to be guided purely by your teachers and experts so that students have a fundamental understanding of the process and not just rely on the math applications. Math applications can make it easier for students to answer their math problems, but some do so by relying solely on the apps. As a result, they are unsure about how to approach the problem. Having math applications does not mean displacing the customary solutions to issues taught by professionals. The effects of the various methods in this study may vary based on how the students use them, and they might also produce more accurate results. The results of this study suggest giving students the opportunity to enhance their current learning by offering webinars about math applications. 